From the steps of the highest court in the country to the U.S. heartland, news of the leaked Supreme Court draft opinion dated February 10th reverberating across the nation. The 67-page draft opinion was written by Justice Samuel Alito. Its authenticity was confirmed by the court and appears to reach a clear conclusion. Roe v. Wade must be overruled, and that 1973 ruling was egregiously wrong from the start. Chief Justice Roberts, who confirmed the authenticity of the leaked draft first published by Politico, insists it's just a first draft and not a final opinion of the justices. President Biden is describing this as a radical decision. And Vice President Kamala Harris saying this. How dare they tell a woman what she can do and cannot do with her own body. But today, states across the country aren't waiting for the final word from the Supreme Court. They're racing to get ahead of it. In Oklahoma, abortion is now banned as early as six weeks into pregnancy. The bill signed overnight by the governor effective immediately. One woman says she was told by one state clinic that she has to drive to Kansas to get an appointment. She's like, you know what, we can't do it here, but I can help you find a different facility. It's going to be in a different state. Democrats now scrambling to offset the restrictive anti-abortion laws already passed. Connecticut's governor promising to sign a bill to safeguard abortions and protect providers from out-of-state lawsuits. If Roe v. Wade is overturned, at least 26 states will likely ban or severely restrict access to abortions. The president now using his platform to push candidates ahead of the midterm elections who support abortion rights. Biden saying if the court does overturn Roe and this issue goes to the states, it will fall on the nation's elected officials at all levels of government to protect a woman's right to choose.